if you see west indies in t20s are a different beast in respect of uh, whether it's mm-hmm. the men's team or the women's team and uh, i think they have a better chance maybe better than south africa as well who knows definitely deepu yeah. will be nervous throughout the entire tournament because he has made two predictions in two different shows just like them. you know pakistan cannot chase the, these guys cannot you know post totals on the board post totals you're saying the west indies has a better chance than south africa moving into the semi finals Are you definitely going with West Indies to repeat what they did in 2016 as well? Moving on to yet another team and it's the West Indies, the mighty West Indies. When we talk about this format of the game for the men's, we always say this side is definitely going to be one of the favorites to win the World Cup because this is their favorite format. But when it comes to the women's as well, they have won this T20 World Cup few times as well. I have Deepu with me, Deepu. West Indies, and we talk about West Indies. You may never ever rule them out, is it? Same for the women's as well. Oh, when it comes to T20s, I, I feel you know they are in that top four uh, in mo- most of the times, and we saw that in 2016 as well. I think both the men's and the women's side won Absolutely. that uh, won the tournament in India. So, yeah, they have that potential. And yes, I think they have a better chance now because of Deandra Dotton also, you know, coming out of retirement, a big player for them uh, at the opening spot. So mm-hmm. yeah, with her coming up, I think they are a better side now with experience. Ellie Matthews, you know, what she what she is capable of. Absolutely, it's a squad which we cannot avoid. Absolutely, we cannot avoid the squad. You named a couple of players. We'll start proceedings yeah. with them itself when it comes to the squad as well. Ellie Matthews. as we talk about the other players from the other countries i would just want to relate a little bit her with somebody like a sophie divine from new zealand just one man army taking all the th- uh, team on her shoulders as well playing different leagues just like ali matthews as well does such a renowned character as well vast experience at the top of the order even you can guarantee yourself that she is going to bowl four overs with the ball as well terrific fielder and now we have seen her leading the side for west indies as well in the feud caribbean premier league as well so we know she is there amongst the ranks as well how much do you rate her as a west indies captain to oh at par to be honest uh, i haven't i have seen more of her as a player not much as captain but chill i think she has got enough capabilities and that leadership quality uh, as to what we saw in the wpl as well for mumbai um, exactly uh, coming in at at the opening spot so Yeah, she she has got good capabilities, and obviously, as you said, she is a one-man army, just like Sophie Devine and many other players were there. So, yeah, she she has that responsibility of you know helping the West Indies to go all the way, along with some of the experienced campaigners coming up, just makes her job a little bit more easy now. So, yeah. True that experienced campaigners coming up makes her job a lot easier because one. one person taking all the responsibility that might just be too much for somebody like a matthews to be honest but we are moving on to the others as well deandra dotton what an experienced campaigner she is such an experienced cricketer at the top of the order the all rounder for west indies brilliance is something she is a word to be honest but haley matthews will get a lot, lot of a company when it comes to deandra dotton in the squad for west indies yeah i mean I think it's just like what we have in in our men's side right now with Rohit and Virat. There, I mean, uh, both these, uh, both of them have obviously played together for a long period of time. Deandra, though, announced her retirement, but now is back. I think I lost, I yeah. uh, last saw her in uh, in the Commonwealth Games, to be honest. So I think that was the last time I saw her, but still now she's coming back. So yeah, definitely a big boost for West Indies, and they are about to record. Huge boost for West Indies, and yeah. definitely, definitely, you're absolutely correct. But going on to the other, other all-rounder as well, Stephanie Taylor. She's another top-class all-rounder, and with leading his department, uh, Stephanie Taylor, and you have DeAndre Dot in the two recognized all-rounders. Keeping aside Haley Matthews in the middle order, order, I think these two has to take a lot of responsibilities in conditions like UAE. Yeah, Vital Cogs and obviously Sir Stephanie Taylor has also been in the in the mix for a long period of time now. She has well, her name is always seen in the squad list. So yes, uh, she along with the other two have got the responsibility to carry the young troops uh, to the UAE, and I think they have that capability. And also the fact I'm looking is the squad. Uh, I mean the group which they are playing, and I think mm-hmm. you know. With England and South Africa, not this regarding uh, Scotland or Bangladesh, but but still, I feel 
comparing to the to the side i think west indies have a better chance to you know actually make up the top 4 uh, west indies have a be- better chance are you, are you comparing them with the likes of south africa and england and completely putting aside scotland and bangladesh still i'll give them a chance but uh, if you see uh, west indies in t20s are a different beast their respective of uh, whether it's mm-hmm. the men's team or the women's team and you know we can't rule out the world champions they have they won the tournament in india both teams so, so that. you know I think, yeah, i think they have a better chance maybe better than south africa as well who knows wow they have a better chance maybe better than south africa lot of all wet on our side is in little bit of danger just because deepu deepu you yourself did the preview of uh, south africa yeah. as well there you said that they could be the underdogs now you're turning tables and now you're saying west indies have a better chance compared to south africa definitely i'll i'll check up on that as well but talking about the conditions in uae we have spoken about sharja we know how you the abu dhabi and dubai might play out the conditions spinning conditions you have couple of good spinners for west indies as well if you fletcher and karishma hamrarak alongside you have heli matthews herself as well three good spinners can they exploit conditions in the uae uh definitely uh, with two venues i think dubai and sharjah will be the venues hosting the tournament and sharjah is a relayed surface now uh, slow turn we, we saw what south africa did in that game against afghanistan 36 for yeah. 7 so you know uh, the with the ball not coming up uh, not more than the ankle length so maybe we can see a dust bowl in sharja and given that i think there are more day games in this world cup as compared to the night one so correct yeah it will be spinning conditions and the this troik of spinners i uh, with heli matthews leading the squad uh, with the bowling as well so i feel they have a better chance of you know uh, choking the run flow of the opposition so yes a uh, big job on the on spinners hands true that big jobs on the spinners hand and that's the reason why you need somebody in the middle orders as well all round to speak we spoke about but just in case west indies crumble at the top of the order you have somebody like a shemain campbell her skills in the middle order provide the west indies with a great balance i must tell you experienced campaigner will they utilize her potential where should she bat at number 4 number 5 or in t20 conditions as long as somebody like a haley matthews is at the crease you do not want to experience campaigners at the middle oh it's always better to you know actually there is a gap between two experienced campaigners because if there is a wicket wicket if a wicket falls at the front you know you, uh, there should be someone who, you know whom they can faith upon that okay if haley is not uh, going to click today you, we we have camber in the in the middle order exactly. where, where she can you know take the game even deandra is also there so i think there it's better that all the three veterans are, uh, are split <coughs> in the in terms of spots not you know one two three the, that's not because once the once they lose three wickets in the power play you know the pressure will be a uh, pressure will be upon them so i think it's better that you know the positions are split and i think uh, the batting department can then take care of itself So the batting department can take care of themselves. Experienced campaigners are there at the top, top of the order, middle orders as well. You have some good skill set bowler, batters, bowlers. Then you are moving on to spinners. We'll come to the predicted playing eleven as the show progresses. But the group, we said group A is a group of death. But when we focus into group B now, England, South Africa, Scotland, Bangladesh will be the four opponents for West Indies. Adipu, you said England and Scotland will be the differences. You said West Indies can have a better chance compared to England, uh, compared to South Africa. I beg your pardon. What about the other teams? Is it a complete easiest couple of points for West Indies against Bangladesh and Scotland? Uh, maybe because you know Bangladesh, I can give that thing to a little edge to uh, edge to them that you know, even though they are not holding it in their in their own country anymore, but still, you know, UAE is quite similar to Bangladesh, especially Sharjah and Meepur. You know, they are. quite similar in terms of the uh, just uh, the ground size is different so i feel maybe there can be a threat of bangladesh spinners who knows and in t20s anyway the game is unpredictable and it women's the margins also you know come down to a fair bit as compared mm-hmm. to the men's game so correct yeah i think they have a chance but still you know we cannot rule anyone out england and south africa as i earlier said for south africa also that they also have a great chance but still i feel uh, apart from the i think it will be uh, the the two spots will be split between england south africa and west indies uh, 
I can rule out the other two. <laughs> okay, you're ruling out the other two. But in South Africa uh, preview, ladies and gentlemen, he said South Africa will be the underdogs. They can surprise the other teams. Now he's saying West Indies have a better chance compared to South Africa. So if you, in case you have not watched the previous preview of South Africa women's team, definitely do go out and watch because it's he. He himself said he is the guest of the South African preview as well. He himself said the same. So we will see at the end of the World Cup what happens. Is Deepu's predictions all right? Or with the other two teams he has definitely ruled out already. Can they come out and pinch any of the sides as well? We'll see that. But talking about the captains, about the three teams you're comparing with England as Heather had the night. Lot of Volvart for South Africa, and you have Haley Matthews for uh, West Indies. Three different character of players, I must tell you. Out of these three, if you have to pick somebody from the all-time eleven after the tournament, if it's an early prediction, who would be your captain? Uh, so Heather Knight is someone I feel I quite you know keen to learn more about her. I have seen a lot of her in in, in on the Indian India tours, so yeah, okay. she is definitely one of the uh, hard nuts to crack. To be honest, uh, given her leadership and obviously she is a really gun batter. So she is always there. Haley Matthews again, no introduction needed. She is there. Laura Woolworth, I feel, yeah, maybe you know, can't say much about her, but these two, I feel, they are they are more exciting to watch as compared to Laura Woolworth. Okay, so you're going to the two all-rounders compared yeah. to a little bit of uh, Laura Volva, the opener for South Africa, the captain. Fair enough, but players to watch out for Deepu have picked three and we have discussed about them. I think it's a no-brainer basically to pick the West Indies top three players to watch out for. Hayley Matthews, Deandre Drotten and Stefani Teller are my three players to watch out for. Any changes for you? Uh, not really, to be honest, because whenever you're going into an ICC tournament, the experience matters. Absolutely. Uh, okay, I'll make one change. Uh, I'll drop Stefani. Uh, I'll rather get Karishma in because I have uh, I am fond of you know watching new talent. To be honest, okay. and I haven't watched her, and it's a spinner as well on True spinning that. condition. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep her as my dark horse. Okay, so dark horse you're going with one out. Stephanie Taylor out. Karishma Hamradak as your third player to watch out for. Fair enough, but we move on to the predicted playing 11 for West Indies. And here it is. Haley Matthews, the skipper. Stephanie Campbell, vice-captain. Then you have DeAndre Dotton at number three. Stephanie Taylor, you have at number four. Henry is five. Nation is six. Then you go on to Ify uh, Fletcher. And then you have, there you go, Karishma Ramradak is at number eight. Then you move on to the bowling section, Deepu, as well. Shamila, Cornell. Kiana Joseph and Zaida James. A little bit of inexperience when it comes to the bowling setup, but can they turn it around? If you're given the captains at Deepu, are you first of all satisfied with this 11? Uh, I haven't seen much of them uh, apart from the top four. And maybe I think Cornell has has been a, a regular member in the recent times, I believe. So, yeah, I feel currently with, I have not seen much of them. So, I think I'll go with the same 11. And the similar thing I said for South Africa as well, that uh, the inexperienced bowling, they have to prove True it. That. It's just that Absolutely. the weeks change and the time change. I'm picking West Indies as favourites, but no, no head to South Africa. Yeah. Okay, so, so definitely, offended, definitely, but... definitely Deepu yeah. will be nervous throughout the entire tournament because he has made two predictions in two different shows. So, we will see what happens uh, to and be correct. But also if change it... in week, so yeah, hopefully. Okay, so Lux also changed. So, he is very hopeful when it comes to those things. But, uh, Deepu, if you're given the captains, I had to be honest, yeah. what are you doing? Defending targets or chasing them? Uh, for West Indies, I believe chasing is more is a better exactly. option. Uh, because I, there is a trend in this lineup, you know, not just this one, but also in the men's as well. They, they always, you know, fluff it out while batting first, to be honest. Just True like, that. you know, Pakistan cannot chase, the, these guys cannot, you know, post totals on the board. Post totals, yeah. And also the fact that, yeah, and also the fact that, you know, when it comes to South Africa, they can, they have that mentality, you know, okay, they'll defend it even with their experienced bowling, inexperienced bowling lineup. But with West Indies, you know, we don't know how much they have played, how well they have played in the CPL and all all, the, all that stuff. I think it's better to chase in in first or in two three games, I believe, and then you know if they qualify or whether what what is the situation is. 
according to the situation they need to change but if you ask me i'll chase okay so you're, you're going to chase when it comes to yeah. west indies which has been their ploy be it the men's be it the women's as well and for now i'm sticking to the preview and the prediction you made in this show i'll keep aside okay. what you made at south africa one but you're saying the west indies has a better chance than south africa moving into the semi finals are you definitely going with west indies to repeat what they did in 2016 as well uh, it's a it's a pickle to be honest you know i have been, i have been a pickle now i wasn't expecting west indies but still <laughs> i'll go with them uh, hopefully it's if they are in the semis but you know obviously we are indians and we support india so <laughs> Hopefully, I'm expecting a game against West Indies in the semi-finals. I don't know. You're expecting a game against yeah. West Indies. You said 15, 10 to 15 percent was the chances for South Africa to make it to the semis. What about West Indies? I'll take it to 25. <laughs> oh, definitely. You are under pressure, and your face reveals everything. Thank you so much, Deepu. Thank you to all the viewers as well. He is backing West Indies compared to South Africa from Group B. to make it to the semis and potentially winning the T20 World Cup 2024 as well thank you to all the viewers for watching this video let us know in the comment section as well which one are you sticking with and which prediction for deepu are you sticking with was it the one against south, at south africa preview or was it this one definitely do let us know don't forget to subscribe to the fifth umpire press the bell icon as well thank you so much and bye bye